this isn't necessarily like a tip, like something you've been missing. This is just what I do. Again, you can take from it, you know, make it your own or just go, oh, again, that's how he does it. But when I have um, like tubes and wires or in this case, a thick necklace chain, uh, a lot of people, you know, I used to do this too and it used to bother me trying to get this, these lines uh, and I just like things looking, I don't like how this gets thicker over here. I, I don't know. It's just, it's me. It's a me problem. So I have found a way to fix it. It's probably really excessive, but this is what I do. Uh, so I use a curve tool because this, this is curved. Otherwise you can use straight or you can even make a ruler and just trace it over. But we're just going to do a curve tool because it's easier. For this example, turn off these. This is not going to help. So the size is 25. Let's see. Oh, that's really big. That's way too big. So let's, let me see. In case you didn't know, brackets, up uh, left or right brackets will increase the size of your, your brush or your tool, whatever you're using. Put it at 17. So I do this. And you're like, wow, that's a really thick, stupid looking rope. I know it is. Don't worry. Then you put it at something very small. I'm not sure if you know this, but alt or option, when you have a, a tool or a brush like this, becomes a eyedropper. So you can grab whatever color's there. In this case, it would be because the ink layer, transparent, nothing. So once you have that selected, I start out from here and I try to get it right in the center. And okay, now I know that seemed like a lot of work, but that's just, I just like that. Now that it just seems consistent, probably a little too obsessive, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's what I do. All right, thanks very much for watching. Click uh, subscribe, uh, click like if you learned anything from it or you just learned that I'm kind of crazy. Either way, thanks for watching. Catch you later.